All right, everybody, welcome back to Delhi Mass Concepts. Um, this week we were in my grade 10 class, we were looking at um, finding the area, the surface area and volume of a few solids. So I definitely decided that, okay, um, we're gonna, today we're looking at volume and um, total surface area of various shapes. But today I'm focusing on the triangular prism. All right, the concept of volume though, the concept of volume reside around this idea. So in any context, if I'm going to calculate the volume of the volume of a regular shape is basically the area of the cross section times height or length. And that is depending on the orientation of the object, depending on how the object set, I might use length, I might use um, height. For example, if let us say I'm looking at a circular, um, I'm looking at a cylinder, I'll find the area of the circle and I'll definitely multiply this by the height because it is vertically oriented. So in this case, I'll call this height, all right? But if I set the same thing like this, I'll still find the area of this circle and then I'll multiply it by this, but I won't say height this time, I'll say length based on the orientation. So when we say height or length, it, depending on the orientation of the, the um, object that we're dealing with. So that's all I'm saying. The context of the triangle prism that I have, um, basically it's area of the cross section times the length. Now let's see what the cross section is. The cross section is a uniform shape that exists throughout. Um, so in this case, if, if we look, if we're looking carefully, you would notice that you're seeing a triangle, that triangular shape at the back here. And it's definitely the cross section because I'm actually seeing this same triangular shape at the front. So you could see that the triangular shape existed throughout. Triangular shape existed throughout. So this cross section is in the form of a triangle. As you could see, here it is at the front. We're looking at it at the front and here it is, exists all the way to the back. So that's what we refer to when we say a cross section, an idea that exists throughout. All right, now, so we, we, we would agree that that cross-section is a triangle. Can we find the area of that triangle though? Well, definitely we could because we have gotten the base and we've gotten the height here. All right, so let's put it together. In context, we're referring to area of the triangle And then we're gonna multiply that by the length, which is 12. The area of the triangle can be found by multiplying base times height, we divide that by two, and then we multiply that by the length, which is 12. And putting together this four times six divided by two times 12. If we should work this down, 12 times 12, so the area, the, the volume of everything here is 144 cm cubed. 144 cm cubed. So the area of the surface, if you look, you'd have to be paying attention because we're dealing with 
all the surfaces. Now let's let's label them. Um, we're looking at the triangles here. So we have the triangles to look at, and here we have the triangles at the back. Yeah. Also, if we go on the ground, we're talking about looking at. So I'm trying to identify the, the, the various um, plane shapes that we're looking at. On the ground, if you notice, we'll be looking at this. It's a rectangle. And this rectangle, we're looking at a four by 12 rectangle that's on the ground. So we have that to find the area of. We also have a rectangle at the back. We also need to find the area of that rectangle at the back or at the side. And it is a, um, it's a seven by 12 because this distance here is 12, just like this. And this is the seven here. So we're dealing with a seven by 12. And um, luckily, based on this, we have two seven by 12 because let's check this out. This is a seven by 12 as well, but we're seeing it closer to us. Not the same thing that exists on the other side, not seven by 12 there. And this is the 12, this is the seven, and we'll get the area of this green thing here and shading, putting a little red on it. So this is what we're saying. We wanna put together those two triangles and that three uh, rectangles to find the total surface area. All right, so let's look. So we wanna state a case that the total surface area is equal to the area of two triangles plus the area of three rectangles. Now, if we look at this, the area of the two triangles, we could calculate them. We're talking about four, two, same thing. All right, so we're looking at that. Now, we're gonna be adding that to the area of rectangle four by 12, that's on the floor here. That's this one here, four by 12. And we want to add that to seven by 12. And it's two of those. So I could multiply it by two because there, there, there is on the up on, on that was closer that we had already identified with this and that on the front here. Different, same value. So we are referring to six plus 24 over two, that's 12. 12 times two plus 48 plus 84 times two, I think this is 168. So we are putting together 24 plus 48 plus 168, 240. So for this, the total surface area will be 240 cm square. All right, so that would have done it for that. So that's basically total surface area by looking at all the shapes that we have, finding the areas of all the plane shapes that you're seeing that would have made up that figure. All right, it's just that this would have done something for you. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment, Delimas Concept. See you next time. Bye-bye.